Hey everybody, this is Ori again from Astral Web. Uh, we just created prior a video on how to install uh, your or how to set up Google Analytics and how to install your code. Uh, and now I wanted to create a quick video about uh, a little bit about information about setting up goals in uh, Google Analytics. Uh, goals are very 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 nice tool, nice addition to kind of getting more information, more data out of your visitors and uh, out of it, analytics and helping. Uh, promote your website, optimize it, and just do do better business on your website. So um, right now, because we just reset it up, we don't have any information, but we will be able to do some tests here. So um, a little bit about goals. This is a website we're we're going to test. This is our our business website. Um, it's a basically it's a services. We're a web development company. We provide services, web design, marketing. Uh, we don't really want to sell too much on this video. So. Um, what what we uh, do want to know is, we, other than uh, seeing uh, where visitors come from and what they do, we really want to set up goals uh, um, and kind of think about what is uh, what is better for our business uh, as far as user trends, user information. What do what do we want users to do on the website uh, or on our business, and how do we track that? So I'll give you an example. So we provide web development services. So uh, what we want is for people to call us and for people to actually get quotes from us and to use our services. We want them to be happy with uh, with what we do, uh, enjoy our services, and then actually go ahead, call us, like us, pay us, and get a great service. So uh, one of the goals maybe for a service company is uh, I want to set up a goal that every time someone goes to a contact page, uh, that's that's kind of already a step forward. So not just researching about what we provide, but if someone wanted to contact us or went to the contact page, that means they're probably more interested than someone that just landed on the home page and left the website. So that is kind of one example of a goal. Another goal could be if someone maybe filled out a form or if someone uh, read a specific page or spent a, a large amount of time uh, reading a lot of our resource pages or our blogs or, or someone that keeps on coming back and back. So those are just kind of random examples. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick example here. So uh, in order to define a, a, a goal, what you need to do is you need to go log in, of course, to analytics, go to admin right here, okay, and then go uh, under this view profile, go to goals, okay. So click on that on the goal section and then, of course, you're going to, going to want to create a goal, okay. So um, it gives you here some templates, and then you can really do some custom stuff with um, just just to answer information. But let, let's use a template, okay? So a, in the first example we gave you is we want to set up a goal that every single time someone clicks on our contact page, arrives to the contact page, we want to set that as a goal. We we know that uh, the more people call that call us, the more people that visit us. A, the higher chance it is uh, for us to convert. So uh, that that's a pretty important thing. If someone actually um, it, it goes to our contact page. So let's let's go ahead and set up one. So I'm going to go here and um, I'm going to go to this uh, contact us. Okay. So I'm going to click on next step. So template and then contact us. Okay. So now. Um, the name, you can title it in any way you want. This is only for you. Uh, just contact us. So I'm going to actually detail it a little bit more and I'm going to say viewed contact us page. Okay. And the way I'm going to track it in the, the main uh, types that Google Analytics offers you are either destination, duration, pages, or events. So um, really quickly, so destination means that someone lands on a specific page, which in our case is exactly what we're trying to do with the contact page. Duration is if someone stayed on our website for a certain amount of time or more. Uh, pages slash screens are uh, if someone, it, you can define a goal if someone viewed a certain amount of pages. So maybe if you have a lot of content or you want people to read more about your blog, you can set up a goal as a, I want to track a goal as someone that read more than, more than a, at least 10 or more of my articles. An event is if you set very custom events with another feature, which events, in my opinion, is much better than just a, a page view because it has much more fle flexibility, but it's a little more complicated in setting up event tracking prior and then going to 
um, to Gold. Because if events, you basically need to kind of edit your code, set up JavaScript, stuff like that. So um, I, we're going to go to the simplest version, and you can always ask questions in the comment box, and we'll be happy to create more guides and to explain more. So again, destination. Okay, and now I want to actually go back to the website. I want to note down what was the exact page. So in our uh, uh, website, the contact page is slash, again, astrolabinc.com, and then I'm going to copy only after the dot com. So I'm going to copy slash contact.php. Okay, and now it says here goals detail, and I'm going to tell it that every time someone exactly lands on that page, we're going we're going to trigger it. So if you see here, it even tells you an example. Uh, for example, use my screen for an app, think, slash, thank you. So uh, again, you have these options, equals to, begins with, and regular expression. Uh, equals to, in our case, is exactly if someone lands on slash contact at PHP. Uh, begins with means it can have, uh, maybe if you have product pages that all have very similar, maybe the, the brand name in it, you can say anytime someone lands on a Casio-related page, or let's say I'm selling Casio watches, um, so like Casio dash uh, G Shock or Casio dash uh, watch bands, it, it'll trigger it. So you can trigger mul multiple uh, kind of like a group thing uh, based on the URL. And regular expression takes it even further. You can match certain parts and stuff like that. Um, so like it ends with a dot PHP or ends with or has in the middle something. So um, Basically, again, we did slash contact the PHP. We don't need to do case sensitive because we always keep it in the. Uh, uh, this is exactly how it is. We don't need to touch that. And um, you can set a specific value. So if you know that every single person that calls you or that visits your contact page, um, you know, is worth a certain amount, you can set it. Uh, let's let's give you a quick example. So let's say um, every single person that fills out your form. Okay, let's take it even further. Um, so uh, let's say you have 100 visitors to your website, and uh, out of the 100, 10% contact you, okay, which is 10 people, and uh, out of these 10 people, you make $1,000. So you know that your average contact is $100, okay? Or, or sorry, is, is a dollar, actually, because in the beginning, 100 people visited, uh, and then, uh, I, I apologize. So out of these 10 people that visited, you made $100. So each of those 10 people would be worth 10. So if every, uh, so that's what you would basically set. So you'd set it on on, and you'd set $10 and on off. So we don't have an, a number for this right now, so we're just going to set it to off. And then funnel is basically, if you really want to track a little bit more, is to um, trigger a goal only if someone went in a very specific way to your web page. So maybe you can set up a goal such as, I want to set up a goal if someone um, looked at our clients, so looked at what our, at our project, and then went to our contact page. So you can tell it, I want to trigger a goal only if someone came to the contact page, but prior uh, actually uh, came, it went to uh, our client's page. So you can kind of see. It's good for um, a lot of things, but it very easily to say it's good for e-commerce sites if you want someone to see if they came from a specific page before they checked out, or if they logged in, or you can kind of uh, think about these things. And if not, we'll be happy to share a little bit more information. So I'm going to set funnel to off. Um, same, it's the same way. You basically say, um, let's say clients page. I'm just going to show you a quick example. And again, slash. And then we'll do the same thing. Slash clients right here. And then is it required or not? You can set that. Okay, so. Um, now, uh, obviously, you want to uh, always verify your goals. You always want to verify it works in analytics, verify work that it works on your site. So I'm going to click on verify, and for some reason, it says resources not available. Um, that might be something within uh, Google Analytics. Let's try one more time, and it did work. So it says right now, this goal would have a 0% uh, percent conversion based on your last seven days. The reason there's a 0% conversion is because we just created a video prior and we actually deleted some of our old, uh, our old data. Uh, so you can see the, the step because we're basically creating kind of a lot of videos about analytics to try to help people online. So um, that worked. Let's click on create a goal. 
And now we're going to even test it further. Okay, so now that the goal is set up, we're going to go back to analytics. I'm going to go back to reporting. Okay, and the really beautiful thing is the past six months, or, or I don't remember, but within the last year, and now it's 2013, um, Google has a, a let us see real time data. So um, before, in order to set up a goal, you'd have to kind of test the goal and then come back hours later or a day later. And so what you can do is go to this events beta, or sorry, conversions beta, I apologize. And um, here it already shows the goal. So if I actually want to test it, and I always want to test things, I'm actually going to uh, go to the, my contact page right here, and then I'm going to go back to the analytics, and I'm going to make sure to see if my goal was, was a, a, is working, basically. Okay? So you see there's some kind of line here. So in a few seconds, and boom. We have one conversion and viewed contact page. So we know it works. We verified it. It's perfect. So uh, I just want to show you one more thing, and that's basically it for the goals, uh, which is the next thing. So once you set up a goal and someone triggered a goal, you want to kind of analyze that better. So um, who, who is this person that actually uh, did, you know, uh, actually went to the contact page, uh, filled, filled out the goal? Uh, where did they come from? Maybe their traffic source. How long did they stay? What else did they see? And just learn a little bit more. So in order to do that, what you can do is on the left-hand side navigation all the way to the bottom, you go to conversions and you go to goals and then let's go to overview, which is basically the same thing. And then you can basically filter out by the source medium. You can actually go to, to uh, the goal URLs. And of course, this is not updated because this is not real time now and kind of see the reverse funnel, uh, where did they actually come from prior, how did they get to your contact page, and uh, just learn a little bit more information. And of course, always use uh, these kind of, um, let, let's go here, let's actually go back to the live one. Okay, and so you can kind of see a little bit more information uh, in, in the, sorry, in this uh, area to um, use secondary dimensions, use kind of what, what they, are they using a mobile device, are they using a, a, a desktop, where do they come from, and you can kind of add some more information to really get, get conclusions and know, um, you know, how, how, the, how you get more of these people that actually fill the goals, actually help grow your business or your goal or whatever you're trying to do. So hope you enjoy this video. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to help with any detailed uh, goal setting, event setting, and stuff like that. Thank you.